Today on the workbench, we have the Silvertone 1207, made by the Sears Roebuck and Company in 1961. It was reported to have no power. So let's uh, open this up and see what's going on. Rust is never a good sign. We have uh, funny corroded battery terminals to a battery that hasn't existed in decades. Well, maybe we can do something about that. Let's give it some bench power, see if we can see what it can do. I hear something. All right. Let's get it apart, change out the caps, and see if that improves things. God, look at this. We've got a cap uh, just flying out here. Interesting. Well, this might be a little difficult, but we'll figure it out. We're gonna need to remove this guy, put him in a safe place. All right, I see a radial there. This, is, I think, is one of these weird double caps. And then we got the guy flying off into space over here. Well, let's get to it. So we know the orientation. That will help us remember which side was which. Then Mr. Acrobat here, we'll just do that separately. Crazy. Okay. And we got him, 10 microfarad. So radial caps is when both ends come out the same side and we're replacing an axial cap where the leads came out the opposite sides. But in this case, they really wanted a radial cap, so this will fit in much better. And we can re-solder the area that I mistakenly unsoldered. All right, let's try this big guy here. I think this is one of these weird double caps. I've never seen them before, but I've heard about them. There's just a ton of solder here. So let's attack that. Anyway, here he is, 50 microfarad times two. He's got one negative terminal. It looks like two positive terminals. The condition doesn't look too good, does it? There's one. Let's get the other guy in. Okay. The final one is the flying capacitor. Flying from over here over to the terminal here. Interesting. 25 microfarad is a pretty strange value these days, but I did manage to get some 27 microfarad caps. He's got the positive lead running over here. Is that gonna make it? 
I just don't think this guy's going to be long enough for all this gymnastics that's going on here. Let's insulate the short side here, put him in, and then we will add a wire and insulate that. Got him done. So he'll go here, he'll go here, and we're done. Something that's always fun is to measure these capacitors we've been taking out. This one's supposed to be a 10. And now it's a 16 with an ESR of 23. So that's totally toast. How about the 25 we took out? Now it's a 0 0.32 with an ESR of 20. Totally toast. And now we have this double 50. Hundred and fifteen with an ESR of four. Not great. And how about the other side? 220 with the ESR of 3.4. So all these capacitors were completely toast. That's why you replace them after 65 years. Caps are in. Let's tackle the battery problem. Looks like the positive lead's attached here. Let's get um, the new one put in. And we can get the length. Length's about here. What do you think? Should we test it? So every day as he reigned, he probably made that decision. Who will I serve today? Sounds pretty good. I think we're going to have a working radio. All right, let's clean the contacts. Let's try to do something about this rust. Let's soak this guy overnight in rust remover. Well, how did overnight in the rust remover do? Well, the rust is gone, but it sure ain't the prettiest bracket in the world. Worked well on the screws though. Now let's get this negative lead attached. Let's get the radio together.
Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be making more. And if you see something I missed, please leave a comment. I'm here to learn. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.